So what's, what's the problem? We can see the problem from several different ways. One way to see why the problem arises is the same way as we argued why we should perform an upwinding. Is that when we construct a flux over here, where there may be a shock wave. So let's draw another scenario where we have a shock wave over here. Okay, a cell average, a cell average. What we would be reconstructing is we would be using the difference between between i uh, ui minus 1 and ui plus 1 which is across the shock wave to construct the slope and therefore when you reconstruct this function the function would have us would be reconstructed like this similarly when re you reconstruct the perform linear reconstruction of this function you would get something like this right The oscillations you are observing in numerical solution is a result of this overshoot and this undershoot. So when the, the oscillation actually doesn't happen when you are performing the finite volume scheme. It happens when you are reconstructing solutions like this. Okay, so you can actually prove that if you follow good enough scheme and if you're using a very accurate time integration as long as you don't reconstruct an oscillatory solution you would never get an oscillatory solution that's called uh, uh, that's that's a property of the scalar conservation law right property of scalar conservation law that's called a uh, uh, TVD or total variation diminishing property the the exact mathematical definition of that is a little bit tedious basically I can I can show you the idea that is if you have a function the solution the so-called total variation is basically you count from the leftmost side of the function towards the first extrema either maximum or minimum in this case the maximum and look at the absolute value of the rise or fall in between these and then you count to the next minimum and then add to the total variation the absolute value of the rise or fall and then you add to the next rise or fall and then you add towards the next rise or fall so the total variation is basically literally the total amount of variation the function has all right so the total variation diminishing so this is the total variation the total variation diminishing property basically says that either if you integrate the uh, conservation law analytically or if you use the good enough scheme the amount of total variation is going to be less or equal to zero. I mean, the, the to time derivative of the total amount of uh, total variation is going to be decreasing, is a, is a non-increasing function of time. So the key to produce a non-oscillatory scheme is to somehow preserve this property. And the only stage in the finite volume scheme where this property can be violated is in this reconstruction, is here, right? So, so for example, the original function is a discontinuous function like this, but after the reconstruction, you create this and this. So the total variation originally would be would be ul minus ur so that's the original amount of total variation but now i have a new extrema i have a new maximum and a new minimum the amount of total variation now has to be added with this and then this towards this and this towards this so basically you are producing from here to here is the newly produced total variation and from here back to here is also the total amount the, the newly produced total variation by the reconstruction scheme. 